Hi! I'm here with Rosianna today. She's back in London for a couple of weeks, so of course we had to film some videos together as a tradition. I really like that even though you've been in the US for three years, I've probably filmed more collabs with you than with anyone else. And definitely far more than we ever did when I lived in the oh. same country as you. Or in the same flat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, also true. Today we are going to talk about our five favorite podcasts. Yes. So these are five podcasts that we have recently been listening to and enjoying split between us. So you have probably haven't listened to all the ones that I'll talk about on the other way around, but they're five recommendations for if you're looking for some new podcasts. Well, my first one is one that I have been listening to religiously and I've listened to all the episodes that there are, so I'm waiting until the next season and it is Bad With Money with Gabby Dunn. This is a podcast that launched maybe last year? Like it hasn't been around for ages. This is basically a podcast about money and how to deal with money. I guess she talks a lot about different scenarios. So like being in debt and I don't know, she talks about a lot of stuff that people don't really talk about, stuff you don't get taught in school and stuff that people feel uncomfortable talking about. And some of my favorite stuff that she does is like she calls up the bank and she records the conversation. She's like, hey, can you tell me how much is on my bank account? And they'll say something like $10. And then she'll start a conversation with that person on the line. Have you listened to it? Yeah, yeah. I like that Gabby is so bold and she just kind of goes forward. Yeah. Um, one thing I really appreciate about that um, podcast in general is that like I feel so much shame around debt mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people do and they kind of carry it with them and even whether that's like going into your overdraft once or like living in your overdraft as I did for many many years and it just it really kind of says rather than like living in the shame and like not addressing any of the problems that are related to that mm -hmm. let's put it all out in the open and I think yeah she and she's really well. yeah I think she's sort of taken that first step in going okay I'm gonna talk about all these things and now hopefully you'll be able to talk about these things. Yeah. She has really interesting guests on and she talks a lot about different people and different experiences and the different ways why money can be such a difficult topic. I've had conversations with other people that I don't think I would have had otherwise. And it's one of those where you're like, oh, actually, I listened to this podcast recently where they talked about this and this. Like, what do you think? So number two, this is from me, is the West Wing Weekly, which is one of my all-time favorite podcasts. Um, basically, they rewatch the show, The West Wing. It's two hosts. The first host is Hrishikesh Hirway. I never pronounce his name right. Um, he hosts the Song Explainer podcast as well, which is absolutely brilliant. And Joshua Molina, who was one of the actors on the later series of The West Wing and had also been in Aaron Sorkin's show, Sports Night. So they watch each episode of The West Wing and they basically talk through, um, you know, the, the highlights and the lowlights of the episode, the character growth and so on. But the guests are absolutely amazing. Oh, they cool. have like former ambassadors to the UN coming on to discuss the So do they talk veracity. about like the reality of the show, yeah. like the situation? And yeah. then also like, you know, in a lot of ways the show is very real even when it's not actually factual. Like it's showing real scenarios that would not necessarily have happened, but kind of say some other truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had, I mean, they had like actors who've appeared on the show, regular cast members like Alison Janney and Bradley Whitford. That's amazing. Um, but they also have, yeah, they had, they had Justin Trudeau on the other week to talk about the Canadian episode that gets ridiculous. Really casual. Um, so it's great. Like, I feel like their level of in who to include in the conversation is really interesting. And beyond giving it the context of, you know, who was on the show at the time, they really bring it into this real world. And it's, I think the shift since um, the US election has also been really interesting. Yeah, I can imagine. Because for a few weeks, like, none of us can watch The West Wing. <laughs> it was too painful. Even people who, like, watch it every single day like yeah. I do. Too painful. But the shift has definitely been towards, well, what does the show promise and, and you know what does public service promise um, which is really cool it's been great to see that do you think it also works for a casual West Wing watcher? Oh, for sure. So Josh Molina, who even though he was on the show, um, has only ever seen most of the episode once when they okay. aired for the first time. Yeah. So he's like, what? So I would say watch the episode, then listen to the podcast, okay. and then you'll just get more from it. Nice. I actually borrowed Rosianna's box set when we lived together and watched watched all of it. And yeah. I enjoyed it. And if you live in the US, it's all on Netflix. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. My next one is a, I want to say reasonably new podcast, but it's been going for like a couple of months now. It is called What Am Politics. This podcast is all about politics, obviously, and it's Steve and Richie, and Steve is like mega, mega knowledgeable about politics. Richie is there to like ask the questions and also provide lots of comedy. <laughs> and so it's a really nice combination because it doesn't make you feel like you're just listening to it and you're the person who doesn't know anything. So it's like a nice open conversation. But I like that 
every time they have a really interesting topic. So they've done one about North Korea. Mm -hmm. They've done one about the politics of Game of Thrones. They've also done one about Irish and like the language and about like how to preserve that. And they always have really interesting guests on. Oh, and um, Lena was on a episode as well about feminism. Oh, cool. So yeah, really interesting, really fun. It's one of those podcasts where when the episode ends, I'm like, oh, I wish there had been more. If you're looking to stay informed, but also have a laugh, then that's a good one. The fourth is Invisibilia, which is a podcast from NPR who produce all sorts of different podcasts, including um, This American Life and Serial and so on. Um, but Invisibilia has two seasons now. It's basically a show about what goes on. What is that? Three seasons? I don't know, two or three seasons. <laughs> it's a show about the things that you can't see, like invisible matter, essentially. Mm -hmm. So it's what goes on in your brain, it's emotions, it's like weird things that happen in the world. It's almost a points twilight zone -y oh. because the stories they tell, they go around and interview people about their experiences, about the strange things that have happened to them and tie them to like scientific fact and other research and, and kind of emerging things. Alien abductions. Um, yeah, you know, all those things. Um, and there's, yeah, there's something very twilight like learning about it because it's just like you can't quite believe that some of it's real mm -hmm. um but they again also there's another i mean there's definitely a theme in what i'm listening to they really responded to the recent election there was this particular episode in the most recent series of invisibilia about um a bear and about this community of people who essentially lived in comfort with bears okay. and like the bears would like kiss them on the nose and like massive black bears like, yeah yeah like big big bears wow um and yeah they could like put their head on their stomachs and so on um and then how some townspeople started to feel really uncomfortable with that like with having their kids around them and so mm -hmm. on and like the conflict there and like the two sides That's of the insane. story idea but they just have really original ways into it and then at the end of every episode they have a dance party track so <laughs> just like, you episode, chill out a bit. they have a song that's like yeah. in the theme of the episode and it's just it's just a beautifully made podcast that's really fun. um and is it really, really like, like highly it. produced very highly produced yeah. yeah it's um three female hosts and producers um and then they have little segments and stuff as well cool nice it's great i love nice. it so my final recommendation it's kind of hilarious because i was planning on making this video by myself and now rosianna's in it uh is make out with him <laughs> which is a podcast <laughs> but rosianna and Lex. Lex has been on my channel as well. Um, I mean, I feel like you should explain what the podcast oh is gosh, about. Oh gosh, so much pressure now. Um, well, so Lex and I are uh, relationship amateurs. Mm -hmm. um, Lex has some relationship experience. I have basically none. But for some reason, people send us in questions <laughs> asking for our relationship kissing, friendship advice. Mm -hmm. um, and we do our very best to deliver that advice uh, as best we can. But sometimes we're like, I don't know. <laughs> like, we need to do That's the situation. it. We don't need to know everything. Yeah, it's uh, it's called Make Out with Him, but it is open to all gender identities, all sexuality identities as well, and uh, and, and friendship as and well, friendship which is as nice. Well. Yeah, but it actually comes from a period in Lex and my friendship when. Lex had been going on, I think it was nine dates with this guy that she really, really liked, and like clearly really liked her as well, but she just for some reason wouldn't kiss him. Yeah. So I was just screaming at her at one point, make out with him! And that just kind of became a cool yeah. card. Yeah, that's great. Um, so. You also regularly get interrupted by Lex's cat. Fliss is a nightmare. I really enjoy listening to it. And also because you're living in the US, yeah. I am really enjoying just hearing like you guys talk over Skype and like it feels like sitting in on a nice conversation. Which it's Lovely. nice. We just finished our first season mm -hmm. and we were on a very brief hiatus and our second season we're hoping to have guests and um, yeah, and just mix up the format a bit. So, five podcasts to fill your ears with. I'm always curious like how many of you actually listen to podcasts and how many podcasts you listen to. So if you want to leave that in a comment, that would be really interesting, I think. Because how many podcasts do you say you listen to? Oh my goodness, about 10 or so? Yeah, I think I have 10 that I listen to regularly. And then I have a bunch that are just in my app, sort of yeah. waiting for me to listen to. But my boyfriend's mega into podcasts, so he's always trying to force me to like listen to new stuff. I'm like, but I like listening to... Because I have some podcasts that have so many episodes that I've spent the last year going through all the old episodes. So, But I should, I should try out more stuff. Now that I've recommended the ones I've listened to, I guess I have to find some more new ones. So yeah, any recommendations? We'll take those in the comments as well. We also made a bunch of videos for Rosianna's channel, so go check that out, youtube.com slash Rosianna. And I think that's it. That's it, I think. That's it. We're done. Doing!